It's a great group of, of young men who are all pointed more or less in the same direction. They really want this. They're fighting for this. And so when someone else joins the flock on Mondays, they're welcome. They're not put into the pecking order. It's not a pecking order. Welcome to the flock. We're grateful that you're here. Please, will you give us some answers we don't get from somebody else? Can we give you a couple we've got, too? They feed each other uh, the answers that they need from their own peer group. Better than, better than from an old grandpa like me, really. They need their peers to speak to them. And of course, as the, peers, as, as the peers grow up through, my gosh, they, they just radiate their, their, their newfound place. That newfound place radiating to these other young men really attracts them deeper than they know to a place, of, uh, to the same place. I think that's more or less what goes on, plus all the, the basic teachings and the trainings and the, you know, the boot camp of learning how to be, you know, asleep in your foxhole, but awake to the sounds outside. When they go off, you're awake and you've got your gun up and you're ready to fire. Don't get trapped. So there's a lot more to say about that, but that's the basic concept of that. I have a renewed passion for what I do, what I'm doing here. For the facilitation of pain, actually pain erasure or removal or detachment, if you will, from memories. So if somebody was abused as a child or fell into pornography and was traumatized or whatever whatever the pain was that was against their belief system and they got hooked and they don't know what to do about it, that pain all associated with that can be one way or another can be resolved to a point that they look back at it and go, oh, yeah, I used to do that. I don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. And I know why, and I love where I am now, and I'm going forward and come on with me. Come on along. And so it's a variety of different tools coupled with what we have in the program that I exercise with, with people, invite them to follow the recipes. They follow them and magic happens and they feel free from the pain. And they, the symptoms go away. The, the attractions, the distractions, the, the addictions, uh, all the things, the kinds of things you can think of that are out of balance can go away when, when emotional pain is gone and joys of connecting to God and self and others uh, with good maintenance in place, such as manpower, allows, allows for the continuation and growth. And life is really kind of exciting when you're a growing, in a growing situation. It's, you know, would you rather, um, would you rather have manure or chocolate? <laughs> Everybody has their own Gethsemane. Everybody has their own places where they need to grow up through and recover and strengthen and become, you know, who they are. And, and so for me, I would just, I think I decided the other day, my, my number one recovery focus is on becoming, overcoming being a not enougher. I, that's my frame. I was trained, I learned and or was from generations past all the way up through to be a not enougher. I don't believe I'm enough for anybody, right? So I have to compensate, 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 perform, perform, perform to, to actually get that I'm okay. So that's kind of been a journey for me. I still work on that one. Still not finished. I still have a lot enough of times. But I'm chipping away at it, you know? I'm really chipping away at it, feeling like I'm making some progress. So I think fundamentally all of us are dealing with not enough -er at some level. I can't. <laughs> figure out how to stop yelling at my kids. I must not be enough. Can't make enough money. I must not be enough. Whatever it is. You're right. You're right. You're not enough. You're not. Without Christ, you are not enough. So the really true answer to, to not enoughness comes through the, the direct connection to your God. Your God, your Savior, your, your healer. That's when you are in the Spirit, you don't feel not enough. You feel fulfilled and alive and loving and caring and giving and you don't need all the other stuff to prove it anymore. That's kind of really where I'm, where I'm going with my life and I'm hoping to assist other people to go with their lives. Really take a good self inventory as a parent and do your own manpower. Follow the program more or less yourself while your son or your daughter does the same. 
Put yourself in the saddle of growth and development, and they will grow with you, and you will grow with them, and you will come together. Your functionality will amaze you. Well, there's hope. Hope all over the place, and it actually is fun, not a burden to participate in that process. It is actually fun. Yeah, all the fears come up, but, but you know what? It turns out after a very quick time, it's actually pretty fun. And there really isn't any shame or blame or any of that going on in our game. It's love, man, it's real love. Being such a, a, a great con conduit to do the work we do.